Bet Online is the world's most trusted betting platform and your number one source for everything football. Bet Online has every stat, every matchup, and even live odds and spreads to bet on during the games. You think you know your stuff? We'll get in on our $200,000 mega contest and pick five games against the spread every week for your chance at a weekly prizes at a share of 200 k $200,000 is ridiculous. When the game's over, head on over to our online casino and get in a game of blackjack or poker or unwind with one of our over 150 slot games. Head to the website today to get in the action. Bet online. The game starts here. All that matters, two right, games. Yeah, sorry, all that matters right now is their, is their houses. If the fans start... The, the arenas are starting to, they're blocking off seats and stuff. But brother, still selling out everything, you know. So it's like it doesn't really matter. What I, I tried to have this, I, I kept telling this conversation with Vince, and his argument was, "Well, the San Francisco Giants made a lot of money last year, but the the, the on-field product sucked." I'm, I'm like Vince, that's not how you measure professional wrestling success. I go the writing and the booking has always over the course of time contributed to whether or not people watch a show and the number of people watching your show usually drives attendance numbers up, either up or down. If you're drawing less people, it's going down. If you know. But the WWE model these days, they have so much engagement on their programming between YouTube, Twitter, and, you know, everything. There's like, bro, I, I looked it up. I, I, went, I went, on, went, went on AI. I said, how many people watch WWE weekly programming on on the various platforms b- besides network the, the the networks, right? And then there was a whole thing. Bro, you know how many people view WWE content each week? I mean, Ten, tens of millions. Yeah, yeah. Well, here and I'm, I'm like, you know, you know, so they're obviously if you're not like the, the the perfect example, Conan. What was the last time you watched Raw or SmackDown at the time slot that it aired on on the network? Oh, it's been years. I mean, so so like here we are. We're regular viewers of the show. We never watch it when it airs. Okay, so it's like so, but we're engaged in the product. Know all the storylines. That there's there's tons of people like us out there that are not because it's scripted television. It's not live TV. Scripted television is never going to compete against live sports because if you watch a live sport, you don't know what the score is going to be, right? And once you hear the score, it's like you're not going to go back and watch the game. You know, because you already know the scores, that, that anticipation. But with scripted television, it's completely different. You can go back and watch it because there's a lot of, like, acting and segment, you know, so. And not know, to mention just... that for the people out there that watch it through certain means and sites, you don't – pirated numbers aren't exactly counted. You know what I mean? And millions right. of people use those sites. But I wanted to read you. Bro, couple, all that uh, matters is they're doing record business and the, the seats are the, – the But let packed. me ask you a question, uh, Disco, yeah, yeah. so – because I, I, this might have gone over my head. So Vince is saying, Vince Russo, right? Uh Uh-huh. That because the San Francisco Giants made a lot of money this year, probably what, on merchandise sales and tickets and stuff like that? Yeah. But the team sucked, right? Right, right. Okay. He's trying to compare. He's trying to say that I I don't care if WWE is doing record business. The show sucks. I'm Bro, like, I don't, I don't, idiot. I don't, you, won't, you should be, you should never have a job in wrestling business. If like, you know, if that's what you think the wrestling business measures the success on. And I, I do pe- not understand right. that yeah. as critical as the fans are, as critical as we are. Right. Mm-hmm. And as unwatchable as WWE was for many, many years. Correct. And now when you watch the show, me personally, I'm be- and so are you, you're very intrigued. Joe doesn't watch it that much, I think. Correct. But we're very intrigued in what's happening next. We we get swerved a lot, and we wrote, and we've been watching wrestling for a lot. Right. And the numbers prove that people aren't going to the shows to see something that sucks. D- dude. Be- you know what I'm saying? How can little, how this can is, you this, have this, been in the business that long, worked there, been a writer there, grew up a WWE fan, and say this show sucks? Come on. Vince, let Vince me read you some dick. of his tweets. So you can well, let me, his, 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 yeah. I want to make a quick point. Real quick. Yeah. If, if you go back since Vince has started podcasting, right? Okay, and you just look at his tweets over the years, like like narratives he's had, stuff, everything. Literally, his entire shtick is everything that wasn't written by me. Has right. sucked. Right. Everything. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. It does. It's like everything that I didn't write has sucked. Right. For, for like, and I'm like, hey, you know, we'll give you. Like, we'll, you know, I, I, I've always given him his props. Him right. and Ed Ferrara, 
Right. I don't know what years they were, but whatever years they were there, they did excellent work. I mean, great work. Right. Sometimes it depends where you're at. Like we've seen Baker Mayfield. Look how good he's done with Tampa Bay. You see Sam Darnold, just right. to use a football reference, right? Right. Or you look at, we use a res- wrestling reference. Look how better it's going for Swerve and AEW. Sometimes a change of scenery and you know will help you. But bro, you cannot tell me that you that were writing there, that this is not good writing. This is excellent writing. I tried to explain it. I go, D- dude, I go, they're, they're writing very similar to the way you used to write. I go, I can't see how you can't even see this. Like the segments are like, I go, dude, I go, I go, the way they're shooting things in the back. Okay. Like I go, that's, that's part of creative. Right. I say, I go, Vince, go, remember when we used to go to the shows, like even at TNA and stuff, you would be walking through the building, trying to find creative space, parts of the building to shoot things. I go like, that's what they're doing at WWE right now. Right. I go, and that, that's going over your head that, that I go, that's still part of creative. I go, and I'm seeing this. How could you not see this? You know, it's like the way they're shooting things were. That's very I mean, weird that he takes that uh, that stance. No, he's on completely a show that's... bitter, and, right. and it's, it's 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 consumed, and he can he can't admit when he's wrong. Like I said, bro, you've been wrong so so much lately. It's absurd. Uh-huh. I go, I go, you. We had this conversation, you know, about Bron Bronson Reed after the Seth Rollins. He goes, oh well, he's just going to be nothing in, in, in three weeks, like 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 Nakamura. I go, well, okay, let's fast forward now. Have, have you been wrong about that? Oh, yes, you have. I go, you're so, you're viewing, you're not taking your, you're, 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 you're staying, everything stinks, okay? And you're not admitting when you were wrong. I go, why, why would people listen to you? You know, it's like, it's just like, it's, it's his shtick. Here's the thing. It's like a professional wrestling today. If you watch wrestling, you don't know what you've seen until you go turn on Vince Russo and see if the show was good or not, or turn on Dave Meltzer and see if the match was good, was good or not. Like that, that's literally like, the, like those guys shtick. So it's just a step. Let me, re- let me read you a few of his tweets because I know Conan okay. probably hasn't seen him. He can get a better idea too. So Vince tweets WWE Friday Night SmackDown finished with 1.568 million viewers for USA. One year earlier, September 29th, 2023 edition on Fox produced 2.33 million. But according to the real disco, everything is great. Explain. Here's the next one. <laughs> I, I did Seven. explain. I was like Vince. I go USA is on fewer homes than Fox. I go. This, you know, what is so hard to understand? Right. <laughs> I he keep said, I keep funny. reading them. What is so difficult to understand? Okay. You know. Yeah. So he says seven hundred thirty-five thousand SmackDown viewers lost in one year. What's so difficult to understand here? When business is booming due to big money partnerships. But that, that's what he says. Yeah. The, the only reason the they're doing stinks. Yeah. The only reason they're doing good is because of their big money park partnerships has nothing to do with creative and the, the driving the, the, their, their record business and, the, and their seats being filled. No oh, yeah, why would big, big money businesses, park. why would big I, it, businesses bro, his shtick is be so, giving him that m- much money? If he, it wasn't something they believed in and it, it had a track record. I hate to use this word to the guys. The guy, the guy is literally comes across as somebody that, you know, he's admitted, he's had, concussion symptoms for years from the Goldberg stuff, he sounds like he's, he's brain damaged. Okay. Like if you can't, you're ignoring reality. And then he's, then I said this, I go, dude, I go, the Jay Uso win. Okay. I say, you might not have liked the show and only 1.5 million people watch it. Right. The Jay Uso win. All right. That thing was viewed over 40 million times over various platforms. Right. You know That's Vince, the real number right there. You know what his 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 reason for his thing is that? Right. Oh, well you know they buy they they, they buy social media accounts and stuff. It's like like he doesn't think those numbers are real. Do they also buy I, the I tickets Vince, for the fans that are selling out the that's auditorium? What, I'm I go, what is so, so hard and, to understand? Bro, let me tell buying you. buying the tickets and filling the arenas and making revenue. That's everything that an owner would want his booker the type of business he would like to drive the drive. Right. He wouldn't give a if the TV ratings are, you know, one point four million or something, would would he? Not knows only it, like, that, you know, disco, and this is uh, not that I'm a nuclear physicist or something, and it didn't take a genius to figure this out. But about ten years ago, I predicted, and on the MLW show, I predicted that there will come a point, and I thought it would be in the next five years, where TV programming will be ancillary right. and 
all the real numbers would be on digital. We've already passed that, bro. We get bigger numbers. Triple A gets bigger number on social media than we do on TV. The social media, okay, especially YouTube, bro. People consume YouTube like it's nobody's business. Right. The WWE has used these. So back in 1997, 98, I go, Vince, there was one platform, television. Right. Unless you had a VCR. Right. If the show was on at eight o'clock and you didn't, you missed it. You missed. You were, it. Yeah, you didn't unless even have recording you, machines unless, unless you yeah. didn't unless you recorded right. it. Okay, now and even before recording machines, you either watched it <laughs> or that or you waited said, for summer did. reruns. I go, and that's the way it was back then. I go, but right. then in two thousand five, YouTube comes along, right. and in two thousand six, Twitter comes along. Right. New media platforms. They're not. Television, not network television, not everything, but they're media platforms which you can consume visually on your phone or the computer. Right. You don't got to be go, at home in so, front of a TV. Right, exactly. So right. I go, what is so difficult to understand here? They, the WWE as, as has a bit, yeah. well, just real quick, they've embraced the other platforms and they've literally made it so easy that if you miss the show, bro, go on YouTube. Go on our Twitter account. I just I will will fill you right. in. It'll take you about eight to ten minutes, and you're caught up on the show this week. You know, and that's why they keep filling the the yes. the, the stands and keep like doing record visits because right. nobody's missing a beat. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited uncensored content and being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams uh thank you for your support thank you for riding with us i know you got a lot of other uh podcast choices be it wrestling or other ones and thank you for picking us boom